Welcome to the eConnector installation webinar. In this webinar, we will cover the two different installation methods for the eConnector, a tool which helps host many different services in OpenMiddle, such as electronic prescriptions and text messaging. Before installing the eConnector, we always recommend updating your system to the latest stable version. More information on updating could be found in our online manual page. But once you are all updated and ready to go, the first way you can install the eConnector service would be by launching your OpenMiddle as an administrator. You can launch your OpenMiddle as an administrator by right-clicking on your OpenMiddle icon and clicking on Run as an administrator. Once your OpenMiddle launches, all you would need to do is click on eServices up at the top of your system. And then from there, select a second option, which is eConnector service. Once the eServices eConnector window shows up, all you would need to do is click on install. And then from there, you're going to receive a prompt that will ask you if you would like to make this the update server computer. You can go ahead and press yes if you'd like to do so, or you can also press no. Regardless, the eConnector should still install. I'm going to go ahead and press yes on mine. And then shortly after, you're going to get another pop-up saying that the eConnector has successfully installed. Once you do that, you'll notice that the status for the eConnector will swap over to working. And then once you press OK, you should be all good to go. The second installation method for the eConnector would be by going into your OpenMiddle directory which can normally be found by right-clicking on your open middle icon and then clicking on Properties. Once you have the Properties window open, you would just go ahead and click on Open File Location. And then from there, all you would need to do is right-click on the Service Manager and run as an administrator. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you can also access this window by launching your OpenMiddle as an administrator. And once you launch OpenMiddle as an administrator, you can go ahead and click on Tools up at the top, Miscellaneous Tools, and Service Manager. And it'll bring up the exact same window. But once you are in the Service Manager window, all you would need to do is click on Add, and then name your service. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and call the OpenDent eConnector. Now one thing to keep in mind is that you can go ahead and name your eConnector, whatever you want to, but you need to make sure that OpenDent is at the beginning of the service name. Once you enter your service name, you're gonna go ahead and click on Browse, and then double click on the OpenDental eConnector folder. From there, you're going to go ahead and double click on the open little eConnector file. And then once you have that information in the system, all you need to do is click on install. And then from there, go ahead and press OK. Once you do that, you'll see that it was installed and it stopped. To start the service, all you need to do is click on start. And as you can see, the OpenDental eConnector is now installed and running. Now every once in a while you may have to hit refresh just to make sure that it still stays running. And this concludes today's eServices training webinar. If you'd like to keep up to date with our latest training webinars, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also click on the notification bell. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call back at 503-363 5432. We can also visit us online at opendental.com.